Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about your stimulus check and why it could be delayed. So if you did file your return with h and Block, Jackson Hewitt, or TurboTax, you could be experiencing some delays with your stimulus check. So let me talk about this. Let's assume you did file your return with those firms, h and Block, Jackson Hewitt, and TurboTax, and, and listen to me carefully, this is important, and you received your refund through some sort of an anticipation loan. Simply put, what happened is these companies, they gave you a prepaid card when you walk out of the office with the money. First of all, you should not be doing so. I'm going to explain why in a moment. But here's what happened. When they gave you this debit card, simply put, these firms would receive your refund. So the IRS will not have your information. The IRS simply put, send the money to h and Block, Jackson Hewitt, and TurboTax. And those companies, they lend, in a sense, they lend you the money up front. Now, that's good. You walked away with the money, but that's costly. First of all, you should not you should not be doing that. That's one. Two, under those circumstances, the IRS don't have your bank information because that information was not provided to them. So I'm going to tell you what you need to do in order to solve this problem. But let me talk about this debit card. First of all, this debit card, they would have charged you a fee for it because technically what they did is they gave you a loan. And usually it's, it's, it's a fee that's a little bit high and they already charge you a fee for your tax preparation. So what should you do in future years? Use Vera or IRS website to file your return for free. This way you don't have to pay them. And even if you don't qualify for Vera or for IRS website, buy your own software. It's usually cheaper to do so, especially if you only have a W-2. So sometimes it's worth it. So what should you do under those circumstances if you did file your return with these companies and received your anticipation loan. This is what the Treasury Department is saying. They're saying you, if you did so in 2018 or 2019, you should go to get my payment app on the IRS website and enter your deposit information, which I will show you how to do so in a moment or where you need to go. And you need your social security number, obviously, your date of birth, your address, your bank account information, and the amount of your refund. Now, you may not know the amount of your refund or you may not remember your amount of your refund. Most of the time, these companies, h and Block, Jackson, Hewitt, and TurboTax, they do have this information online. You can go in there, create your account, and access this information. I, if I remember properly, for h and Block, they usually charge you a fee for that. When I was in practice, I used to, you know, we used to get some new clients, h and Block clients, and we needed their prior retur year return. They did not have it. We would go to the website and they will charge us a fee for that. I'm not sure if Jackson Hewitt or uh, or or if an HR block still charge a fee, but you can get your refund amount. So you need that information. And this is what you need to do. You need to go to the irs.gov. So I'm gonna I cannot emphasize enough. Go to irs.gov, not .com, not .net, because there's a lot of phishing sites that looks like the IRS website, and they're trying to get your social security and your date of birth for identity theft. Just make sure it's .gov. The best way to do this is Google IRS.gov, and it should come up as the first as the first website. And it usually it says here an official website of the U.S. government. Under those circumstances, you will need to go under Get My Payment. Once you click under Get My Payment, you'll get to the site. So irs.gov slash coronavirus get my payment. You click on get my payment. Don't type those. Just go through the IRS, irs.gov. And after you get your payment, you'll need to input your social security information, your date of birth. And this is what the fraudists are trying to get. Those two pieces of information, your social security and date of birth, your street address, your zip code. You go to the wrong site. You're fried basically because you're giving them everything that they need to do that they need to have now i i try to walk you through the whole form but this site under a tremendous pressure so i waited 10 15 minutes and i kept refreshing and it's still it was busy so basically after the site i'm assuming they're going to ask you about your refund about to input your bank information and that's the other thing if you went to the wrong site you're giving them your social security your date of birth your street address your zip code which is your complete street address plus your banking information so you're totally fried if you go to the wrong site so make sure you go to the right site and you should be able to um, keep going back and checking to see the status of your payment now if you like this uh, if you like this uh, uh, video please like it share it subscribe to the channel um, i'm gonna be here and keep updating you about those stimulus checks and any any related information stay safe 
If you're an accounting student or planning to go for your CPA, study hard, check out my YouTube, check out my website, and good luck.